Okay, I did a quick card layout thing, and I was asking what Cuomo thinks about the um, the repugly uglies. You know what Trump is saying, and what McConnell is saying, and you know getting stuff open. Um, so what I had up here at the top is um, manipulating the balance of things you know, wanting to get people rooted again and, you know, trying to go back to the past, you know, with manipulating this balance of, uh, you know, getting people back out to work again, because this is all what Trump is about. Again, so rushing, rushing forward with that energy and trying to push it, basically, is what I say. They're kind of standing in this thing and saying, you know, we need to open and open now, do it. Um, pushing for that to happen because there's loss. And I think, again, this is trying to um, manipulate it uh, through what they're saying and their ideology of it. Uh, it's pushing it too early um, about loss. So what's going to happen, they're strong-arming this to, to get it open, and it's going to be a disaster. He sees that this is, this is going to wind up being a disaster because they're trying to, like, deadweight anchor uh, people getting back to work. People getting back to work. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't look like Cuomo is thinking this is a... Uh, rational thing to do. <laughs> it's not a rational thing to do. Let me see if I can get these out real quick and pull a couple more and see what we get. Um, yeah, it's like they're pushing it, you know, and again, trying to start this with what they're saying and the nonsense. Um, that they're saying ridiculous stuff and things as well. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Okay, so what I got on this one was, and again, I did something different. I, I like to try to change it up. Milk and honey. You know, they're trying to be strong on this position of milk and honey, uh, making it sound like it's not as bad as, as bad as it is. You know, go back, you know, go back and, and start working. Um, but we have this, the fortune cookie says, it's not for you. This is not the time to do it. It's time to, again, still walk away. And what I got above it was the moon that they're just, again, spinning stuff. Uh, he's thinking it's too much um, talk of, uh, again, milk and honey, don't worry. We, we need a strong economy again. And it's uh, he's thinking, again, this is the fortune. In this case, the unfortunate things that they need to be walking away from this now, not promoting it. And he sees it as a lot of uh, spin being put out there. Okay. Uh, misinformation. Um, so, yeah, he's not, not happy with this. He thinks people at this point in time, not for you. It is not time. It's time to walk away, you know. Um, so that's what I'm getting this morning um, when I do the things for what Cuomo's thinking. He's, he's thinking they're basically out to lunch. Um, you're pushing this too early. 
um, you're minimizing uh, how bad this is. You're putting out spin and misinformation. Okay. Again, trying to get the economy going. But in this case, that anchor is like a dead weight. And then they say, you know, to um, McConnell is out there saying, um, you know, the state should just go bankrupt. The states, <laughs> let's see what we have here. The state should just go bankrupt. No problem. You know, just, just go bankrupt. Um, so what about this going bankrupt and this McConnell and this stuff that he is saying? What do we get with that? <laughs> okay. What is this about McConnell and uh, state should just go bankrupt? Um, let's pull a few things and see what we get with that. McConnell, the state should just file bankruptcy. State should just file bankruptcy. What do we have about that? So what I get is with McConnell with saying just file bankruptcy, an affair. So it, it's out there as somebody that's not being true, not being honest, okay, when it comes to the direction that we should go, okay. Um, that again, his, uh, his emotional thing is always about money. Okay, and it's again another spin and misinformation, okay, about the direction that people should be going when it comes to the financial thing. Again, he is uh, not somebody that's honest, somebody that's cheating, <laughs> and an affair is a cheating, okay, cheating, and a, a, like magic wand, a little wand up here, magically make it disappear just by bankruptcy. Okay, um, so again, his heart is not in the right place. He's not, uh, yeah, heart is not in the right place. Um, yeah, wishing. He's got the magic wand of wishing, okay, about the direction, okay. When things pile up, this is the direction we go. Just file bankruptcy. A lot of, again, spin, misinformation. Um, and again, this moon is a very little slice. He's not getting a whole picture here. It's, you know, most of it is in the dark. You've got one little bit here of light there. And again, this is his take on money. This is the quick answer. We got the bunny here. Quick like a bunny. Quick, quick answer. Fall bankruptcy. You know, follow the leader in chief. He's filed bankruptcy, so why can't the states file bankruptcy? So I think that um, I want to ask another question. Okay. Question I want to ask is um, about McConnell. If McConnell thinks already that uh, we Pugly Uglies are going to lose this next round, so yeah, just file bankruptcy. Make it as bad as you can. 
for the for the Democrats coming in and then you can blame them for everything again. Okay. States should just file bankruptcy and we'll make it as hard as we can for the Democrats coming in and then we'll blame them, you know, when they're trying to sort out the mess that the Republicans have left us. So is that McConnell's scheme? So what's going on with McConnell and this stuff? Yeah, erosion. Erosion. Wearing away. Okay. Just okay. We can just erode the economy. Just, you know, they got us in so much debt because of that big bailout they gave to begin with trickle down and now they're having to put out all this money just to you know get us through seduction okay I think I want to do this one first seduction so what is McConnell up to? What is McConnell up to? Sun. Shining light on it. Like if you, the seduction is and wearing away of the government is, um, you know, just sunflowers. It'll be nice and rosy. All you have to do is file bankruptcy. Okay. Make it all go away. Well, you know, how can, how can a state file bankruptcy? Yeah. Tower moment. So he doesn't care if he erodes and wears away our economy. The seduction is, you know, that you can just uh, file bankruptcy. But the light on that is it's going to be a tower moment if they actually did that. Okay. If they actually retreated... Okay. Yeah, if they retreated, it's just going to give more of a strength to a worry later, something, a burden that they have to carry, a burden that they, um, yeah, that they would have to have somebody come in to fix it, uh, somebody, because, yeah, Trump has ruined it. Trump has ruined it, okay? So it would be a victory for Trump if the states actually had filed bankruptcy. So basically this is saying, yeah, McConnell would like to see them file bankruptcy and leave this big mess. It would be a victory for Trump and the Republican uglies, you know, that the Democrats would have to uh, bear this burden. It would be a tower moment. Um, and basically we'd be laying low for a long time and it would be a really strong burden that would have to be carried. And it, um, for the Republican uglies and stuff, that would be a strength for them. Okay. So I see it as, uh, McConnell saying, yeah, sure, just file bankruptcy. After all, you know, got all this uh, debt, just get out from under it. And uh, I don't care if it erodes the economy. I don't care 
you know, because this is a, if we can screw it up as bad as we can, okay, then this is a benefit to the Republicans because it makes the Democrats look bad when they have to come in and again, try to dig us out of the hole that the Republicans have put us in. And the followers of the Republicans, the uh, Trump train, you know, they're going to be blaming everything on the mess that the Republicans have left for the Democrats. Okay? I think uh, McConnell knows he's about done. He knows that the uh, Republicans are going to lose this. They're going to lose the elections. And so just screw it up as much as you can and leave the mess for the Democrats to clean up, and then we can blame them for it um, when the economy is tanking, okay? Mercy. Mm. Okay. So, recap of everything that we just went through. Cuomo is not impressed with the crap they're doing. He sees it's too quick. They're trying to manipulate this. Um, the balance is going to be thrown off. You know, that person was hanging up there. I didn't see any roots in the dirt there. Okay. Uh, they're, they're just kind of hanging out there. And so it looks like um, it's going to be, again, another tower. They're trying to push it, strong arm it through. Um, and they're just talking a lot of misinformation, okay? They're talking it up, but it's going to be another tower moment. Um, you can't try to open it too early. You're going to have a continued surgence of this. And I feel with the, the virus, too, I think that... Um, you know, they say there will be a resurgence in the winter. I don't feel it's going to be like that. I think it's going to be continued, continued through then. It's not going to stop with the hot weather and, and then come. I keep getting underworld, okay? Deaths. I keep getting more, more deaths, okay? Is this not a smart way to do it? Okay, it's not a smart way to do it. Renewal. Okay, we're going to have to come to a point of readjustment, re really rethink things. Um, is this a transient? It's a transient moment that we're going to get through. We will get through it. And we're going to have to get some new wisdom out there. Um, some more wisdom um, on how we go forward. Things are going to have to change. Uh, ultimately, things are going to have to change. This is a time of transition. There will be more deaths. Um, it's a time of renewal. The, renewing the planet. We need to get some more wisdom in the way that we do um, the business, the merchanting, um, you know, also the wish fulfilling card. You can't wish your way there. It's going to take work, but we need to look at, again, wisdom on how we are um, going forward. And I think that things are going to change business wise with that. Um, Yeah, anguish. Um, anguish. Um, yeah, we're going to go through a time of difficult time, anguish, before we're moving over or while we're moving over, okay? So we're going to have to learn some really hard lessons. We have to learn some really hard 
lessons. It is not going to be easy pie in the sky like these repugly things. They're just going to go back to the way it was and it'll be all okay. Um, mm -mm. Passage. Passage. We're going to take some lumps. Again, chariot moving forward, passage coming, coming to another thing. Again, it's going to take, it's not going to be easy. People are going to feel embattled, um, taking their lumps. Yeah, productivity, we're going to have to learn how to work better together. Um, when this is over. Okay, so we've got the rushing um, with the people, um, the people rushing forward, wanting to rush forward, okay, but we're going to have to start, um, again, rather than just rushing, we need to find a way to work together, okay to look at new truths, um, the way we are to be productive, okay? It's going to take more action of just, um, again, learning how to work together, learning how to work together so that we can move forward with this stuff, okay? Working together so we can move forward with this stuff. It's going to take some patience. You know, you can't do this too quickly, okay? You can't do it too quickly. And we have to find out when we get our new new person in. Um, new leader. Okay. We're going to have to pick ourselves up and then look at what gifts we have. Again, don't forget when we have the card of loss, there is still some things behind them. So we need to see what we have available. The gifts, uh, again, uh, celebrate together. Um, yeah, if we want to go forward to that prosperity again. So it... So what I get from this again, let's look at it. It's going to be, um, we're in the middle of a transition. We have to get some wisdom from this. You cannot force it too quickly. We need to have patience, get some wisdom, start working a little differently. You know, things are going to have to go through a major change with it on how we're working and not rush it too quickly look at the gifts we still have, the things we can still use, um, and again, find a way that we have to work together with more cooperation as a whole instead of this individual stuff. Um, so I'm going to leave this here. You know, it's a, again, we're in the midst of a transition, and this is really a learning curve for people. Um, and I hope that those who have been riding the Trump train will finally get some, you know, wake up to what's reality here rather than just listening to this fantasy show and pie in the sky and what Trump's saying, just inject disinfectants and stuff. Oh my God. And then again, needing to dig itself out of this big hole we've gotten ourselves into. Uh, so, you know, I feel really sorry for the next administration coming in. They're going to have the hardest work, I think, in history to put things back together because Trump has gone in as an anarchist and just tore up everything he could tear up. Um, get rid of anything that Obama had done and just screw it up as most, much as he can. I mean, anybody who puts Betsy DeVos in at head of schools, 
uh, you know, and somebody that's fought against the environment to put them in the place of micromanaging the environment and stuff. Get rid of the guys that's done vaccines and, and worked on these viruses his whole life. Okay because they wanted him to push this, this malaria drug, which he wouldn't do, okay? Because it wound up with killing people. So they get rid of him. I mean, this, you, you can't call this an administration. Um, all you can say is really, this is dark, dark stuff working there. Um, it's absolutely clueless and the only thing that this guy has got is trying to fill his pockets, okay, on the backs of others and not give them their due, okay. So I'm going to leave this here. Oh, mercy. Yeah, we need to just take a day to uh, relax. And uh, tomorrow we go forward again. But again, we need to stop and rethink things as the way that people are working and stuff. I think through this, they're going to find out, um, wind up having more people working from home. So the positive things that have come out of this is they're going to find, again, some new ways of working. Um, since we haven't had all these people out, the, uh, the earth is having a break, okay, not so much pollution. Um, so that part's good. You know, Gaia needed a break, let's face it. The planet needed a break. But um, when they start opening up, I hope people remember some of these things and, uh, you know, um, take to heart that there needs to be some massive changes coming in. So anyway, thank you for tuning in. Love and light to all of you. And welcome to the new subscribers. Uh, if you enjoy this channel, subscribe. And if you want to be alerted for the next videos coming out next to the subscribe thing is a bell. Click that and it'll let you know when the videos are being put up. Okay. Um, I did put in to the description, uh, the, the link that you go to guruswamiji.com and you can get a link to the, um, to the albums if you wanted to purchase an album or you just wanted to have the file sent to you so you can put it on your computer or your phone or whatever it is you have there if you didn't need a hard copy. Um, so there's that link there. And also to let you know about the readings and stuff. Um, I may have to open it up to doing them on Skype. I was doing them readings mainly by you send a question, I do the reading, I upload a link. That way you can view it a number of times, okay? Uh, if I do it by phone or Skype. Uh, it's just during that reading time, and I think people don't always um, remember what's said, okay? Um, but I have people that say, oh, I don't want to do it by the question. I want to do it by the time so I can ask you a, multi <laughs> a multitude of questions. <laughs> You know, one question can take a while to answer. It depends on what it is, you know. So I'm going to have to rethink that on uh, maybe a time factor or something. Because um, it seems to be that's what people want the most. Anyway, we'll work on that, okay. So thanks for tuning in. Love and light, please Please, please be safe out there. Um, we don't want anyone to wind up ill and uh, because that is a nasty, nasty virus. And I guess some people uh, really have a hard time coming back from it. There was that one lady that had to relearn to walk and everything. So um, it can have 
other consequences um, besides just during the immediate time, okay? And also people can get reinfected. So again, don't think that you got it and you come through it with minimal and that you're home free, scot free. That is not the case. So please, um, we don't want the misinformation out there um, because it can cost lives and we don't want anybody to be ill uh, more than they have to be. So thanks again for tuning in.